Okay, yeah. Um, I wanted to let you know that ever since I started listening to you, you have changed my life. I mean, um, I was 13 when I came to this country. I was raised in the high school system thinking there is no American culture, and you turned me on to the American culture. I, I uh, like to think of myself as an American because of you, sir. Um, you secondly, are American. Thank you, sir. Um, I wanted to touch uh, up on the Syria situation where all the Christians are being uh, massacred and such. And it's so uh, ironic that most of them are um, ethnic Armenians uh, that fled the Armenian uh, genocide in Turkey. And now, 99 years later, on the 99th anniversary, which is today, the April 24th, that the Ottoman Empire gave the order to um, go after the uh, the elite Armenians in government and uh, public service, and they fired them on April 24th. Well, and let me so let me bring up the, the the Armenian genocide that our government will not condemn uh, because they don't want to make Turkey mad. Will, will they kill something like a almost a million people or something? With some giant number, isn't it? Oh yes, sir. And, and 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 people have to understand. Then they fled to Syria. I, I know enough of the history to know that. And they're now being ethnically cleansed. And even the UN had to admit this year. It was just in the news a month ago that the number one persecuted group is Christians, double any other group worldwide. I don't care if you're Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox. It doesn't matter what Christian you are. You are persecuted from India to the Middle East. Across the world, the world has it out for Christians. And I remember getting criticized, pointing this out years ago. There is a war on real Christians, not megachurch, glitterbug, government agents. Most of those big megachurches are called clergy response teams on FEMA payroll, folks. Especially a lot of the big ones in Austin that I'm getting ready to expose. But the whole point is, uh, I'm going to do undercover stuff. I'm letting people know up front. I always tell the enemy I'm coming. But the whole point is that... What you're saying is so important, and the people running our government are backing al-Qaeda on record, it was in mainstream news yesterday, to murder Christians all over the Middle East and attack our own troops in Iraq. It is outrageous. But then you understand, the criminal groups above our government, they want to keep the wars going. So uh, God bless you. Appreciate your call, Alec. It is outrageous what's going on. Outrageous. And they just lined up those Armenians and just shot them. And I'm not against Turks. You know, every time you, you, you know, you say this genocide's wrong or that genocide's wrong. Well, why are you against Turks? Or why are you against, you know, Ukrainians? Because you don't want a war in Ukraine. I'm not, folks. When the Ottoman Empire and the Turks were very vicious at that time. I don't blame the Turkish people for what happened there. But I do blame their government. So you don't have to then own that and, ex and say it's good because you're Turkish. You can say it was wrong and apologize for it, bare minimum. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Dean in Canada. Dean, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to go over uh, uh, the importance of words and how uh, a lot of people are twisting words, taking one meaning and making it into a, a completely different meaning. Uh, I, the, the words I was going to go over is everything from you know, a peacekeeper is somebody who goes to war, you know, kind of like Orwellian doublespeak, where you have somebody that uh, takes over a word, makes love, hate, hate, war. I mean, uh, uh, love to hate and peace to war and everything else. And uh, just the importance of people understanding the actual meanings of the words. People have to understand that words are being changed. Words are being manipulated. And now under political correctness, they're saying, don't say bossy. Folks go, well, that sounds ridiculous to say don't be bossy. It's meant to be over the top. They're meant to tell you, hey, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut and only repeat what we say is kosher. Yeah, that's correct. They'll say things like I'm informed, which means that you're just parroting what you were told. Or it'll mean I don't have to listen to you. I'm informed. Exactly. What are some other examples right. semantically you've noticed? Uh, uh, like... The Ukrainian situation uh, with, the, of course, the freedom fighters and now the militants. We have the militants in there now where we used to have the freedom fighters doing the exact same thing. Exactly. Uh, oh, and more. When, when, when the Western Ukrainian white supremacists are blowing up police stations, it's freedom fighting. Exactly. And then when the Russians defend themselves, it's terrorism. That's, you're exactly right. See, 
That's a great caller. I hate hanging up on him, but I said one minute each. Great points. We should do a whole show of examples of doublespeak. We're going to come back with Andrew, country, others. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Normal blood pressure, naturally. How would that make you feel? I'm Don from New Mexico. January of 2000, I had a heart attack. Then my real health began going downhill, and I had uh, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, poor vision, and I really wasn't sleeping well. I was a mess, pretty much. Don reports dramatic improvements with heart and body extract. I started taking uh, heart and body extract, and from within a few days, I started sleeping a lot better. My blood pressure uh, normalized, my blood sugar normalized, and uh, my sleep really did improve. Experience these benefits and more when your body gets what it needs with the assistance of Heart and Body Extract. Order at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. That's hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. Folks, I did not expect this at all. By the 7th, 8th, and 9th day, I saw dramatic improvements from taking Heart and Body Extract. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305 for Heart and Body Extract. Folks, we're going to go back to your calls in the next segment. We have a special guest joining us right now from the Bundy Ranch in Southern Nevada. The interview we did at the start of the broadcast an hour and a half ago with Clive and Bundy is now up on Infowars.com. The video and the audio headline, Clive and Bundy responds to New York Times racism report. Nevada cattle rancher Clive and Bundy responds to claims made by the New York Times that he is a racist. And, of course, anyone that doesn't like the government's racist now. And, of course, they're in there listening to hundreds of speeches he gave where he does the cliched statement I've heard 
from black leaders, white leaders, mainly conservatives, that one evil was traded out for another. Slavery and then another evil of segregation, but that at least had pressure on people, so it made them stronger. Now the nanny state, all the statistics show, is a new, more insidious form of slavery. And I asked Bundy if that's what he meant. And he said, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say everybody's got a good soul. Everybody's welcome here. I was complaining, he said, that no one who's a, quote, you know, uh, ethnic minority, you know, hardly anybody was here. People need to get out here. But I was pointing out how governments enslave people. Now, you know, we say that every day, and, and they don't run with that. But he is kind of a fossil, too. Seventh generation, middle of the desert. You know, it was the, it was the Negro Leagues was the name of it back in the 20s and 30s and 40s. And then, in, then you're supposed to say colored, then African-American. You know, I just say black folks or white folks or just people. But this is the obsession with words, and they're using that to make a big deal out of it. But let me tell you, that's how old people talk. Uh, and I mean, really old people. My grandparents didn't talk like that, but I've known a lot of old people do. Uh, and the issue is, is nothing to do with the land rights or the people walking towards the guns or the feds tasering people. That's the issue. But the controlled White House run media is going completely crazy. I see Clive and Bundy saying, you know, they abort their young children. They put their young men in jail. So if he was for Planned Parenthood and the real racist Margaret Sanger, who wanted to kill all the blacks, 52% aborted, that would be good. Now we're joined by a fellow that's on a security detail, the Bundy Ranch, Jason Bullock, who just so happens to be an American who has more melanin in his skin than I do, who's black. And I wanted to, I don't know what he's going to say. We're getting him on. What is your take on this new controversy? Uh, and where do you think this is all going? And have you caught Cliven wearing any white hoods, sir? I've never seen uh, Mr. Bundy wear a white hood at all oh, <laughs> i can assure you that uh this man is not racist he's the he's the uh, nicest most kind-hearted man that i've met and it's an honor to be on his personal security detail you know he's let me meet his family he's let me secure his family you know if he was racist i'm pretty sure he wouldn't have a black guy you know in his house on his property 24 7 you know it's it's just the media's way of demonizing them, and they've been doing that since the beginning, what like they always do. Uh, describe, were you there when he gave his full speech that he says they're taking out of context? Uh, I was not there. So I can't really uh, give any input on that, but I have heard, I have heard that uh, that was what happened. They came and got me this morning, and they were like, yeah, they're trying to make Mr. Bundy a racist, so uh, we need you to come speak to well, I mean, talk about Mr. Bundy, why you came out there, what you've seen while you've been there. Well, I've actually been here back and forth for about two weeks, and I'm staying out here for the long haul this time. Um, what I, from what I've seen, you know, what I, what I saw was uh, was the federal government over, overreaching, overstepping its bounds. Uh, they had rifles pointed at civilians. I was here during the standoff, and... Uh, it was just all bad. It, it was. It looked like martial law in the middle of the desert. Well, bottom line, I I hope that uh, you know the New York Times and everybody listens to what you have to say. But in the final equation, everyone's so sick of hearing this race stuff. Don't like turning your guns in. You're racist. Don't like Obamacare. You're racist. I mean, you watch MSNBC. It's literal race baiting broadcast. I don't think this is going to fly like they think. They want to change the subject off of the Tiananmen Square type stuff by the feds. Uh, on to race and division. What's your take on that? Divide and conquer. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book. Um, you know, and it, frankly, it sickens me. And that's why I'm out here. That's why I decided to come out here in the first place, because I'm sick of the powers that be stepping on a little man. Black, white, yellow, green, I don't care. It's well, exactly. American. Exactly. And, and, and let's be honest. Racism isn't as bad as it used to be, but racial fear and division is worse than it's ever been, as Clarence Thomas said about a month ago, because of the controlled press raising the issue, the way to end it is to invite everybody and anybody who loves liberty, that's what makes us brothers, into the liberty movement. I've caught so many feds online and in person spouting racial stuff at events to create division, and we can't let them do that. Liberty is a big tent. We've got to come together. I want to spend a few more minutes with you and talk about a strategy to defeat Harry Reid. Straight ahead. Stay there. Jason Bullock will come right back to you.
We're on the march. The Empire.